Greetings friends, Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to Project Zomboy King of Louisville, Episode 17, Untouchable. And now you can see the rhyme and reason as to why I had built the shelves out the way I did. Uh, so we are grabbing clothing and tailoring stuff. So the clothing will go on the closer one and the tailoring stuff will go on the further one. And that's next to the washer and dryer, which I think makes logical sense. And then the remaining um, shelves can just be sorted for ammo, weapons, whatever. Oh, another bandage. And some more food that I didn't sort. And a uh, heck of a lot of books. I mean, they're, it's a work in progress. <laughs> and I still don't have a mechanics or electrician. I mean, there's a lot of skill-based boxes that are missing, but they come in due time. Things I missed. Book. Cooking pot will go under the sink. No books. The empty gas can probably should go upstairs where the other gas cans are, just to denote that I have an empty one. And then seed packets need to go upstairs in the gardening section. Uh, wouldn't be a terrible idea to combine all the matches and whatnots as well. Looks like more Louis project. Cool. Coffee should go over in the food. Man, my... Lewis is so tired. Don't worry, buddy. You'll get some sleep. So to me, a coffee special and goes in its own little box with some other stuff. Because it keep you alive. Strange, but true. What does coffee do? Uh, if you're tired and you drink coffee, it wakes you up. And when you're tired in this game, you fight terribly so coffee can be what keeps you alive if you were going to go to sleep mid combat aka saves your life so if like you're exhausted and there's a ton of zombies bearing down on you and you're just like oh man I'm just too tired to fight them you can just drink some eat some coffee grounds and then all of a sudden you're in fighting form so it's super useful which is why you see me hoard it the way I do. It's a combat drug, exactly. It's a really important one, not to pass up. Well, I must say, oh, you know that pencil I broke? Yeah, yeah got a new one. I must say, uh, definitely more organized than I was before. And it, it only, it didn't take too long. I hope it wasn't too painful for you all. So now I want, when I want something, it's very easy to find it. Oh no. 
Why hath you poundeth on my door? I'm so tired. I can't fight you. And you know that. You waited until I was exhausted. Stupid zombies. <sighs> ridiculously tired. It's like... Things not to do when ridiculously tired. It's just you? No, I hear others. Oh yeah. I'm so tired that my, like, cone of vision is microscopic. It's one of the punishments you get for being tired. So you can barely see. So, let me demo the power of coffee, if I have it on me. Which, uh, of course I don't. But normally you'd just be able to eat, like, half the bag of ground coffee and fight because it would remove all your your fatigue so let me let me quickly do that just to demo because these zombies are going to do some damage to the base otherwise eat half Really? Do I need to eat the whole thing? Fine, eat the whole thing. Smoke a cigarette. Take beta blockers. And... You know how I was hitting for like one point something from before and had no cone of vision? It's murder time! Coffee! The power of coffee. Go from having a tickle fight with zombies to bashing their brains out with uh, SEAL Team 6 levels of efficiency after a little bit of uh, a little bit of coffee. Yeah, it is a get out of jail free card if you know how to use it. Like Fry from Futurama, exactly. When the buffet set on fire and he ran around at the lightning speed and uh, put out all the fires and rescued everybody. Exactly. Insta Fry. So now that I've uh, demonstrated the power of coffee, that is why you keep it. Because um, it's way faster than vitamins. It does the same thing functionally as vitamins. Um, where vitamins remove fatigue, but you have to take so many vitamins that it takes you like an hour just to take them all when you're exhausted. Um, whereas with coffee, it's pretty quick. Pretty, pretty quick. And I, I, I chose to eat half the coffee at once. Whereas I could have just wolfed the whole thing down like some sort of Popeye monster. And, uh, yeah. So what I, I typically do is I leave a bag of coffee in the glove box of the car I'm driving. And then also often I'll have one favorited in my backpack. So I have multiple coffees uh, ready to go. As you can see, I did not prep cars like that, but I haven't really been using cars very much in this. Uh, which is the reason for that. My my excuse for the lack of um, car prepped coffee. Uh, matches, lighters. Right, my weight is still 81 plus plus. I was right to be worried. <laughs> oh, I just can't. I just can't stay normal weight. a little bit left of sorting and then I'll get to sleep okay, helmet you're technically clothing I'm putting all the cigarettes and and fire sources in the center one no in the on the desk it's I mean that desk is really weight inefficient, but 
Wilder's Mask is interesting because it's a piece of clothing, but it's also like a tool, and it's probably best to sort it as a tool. So I have 705 cigarettes. I'm probably pretty good on cigarettes. As nutty as it sounds, I might just keep all of these stacks of vitamins on me. Because they don't weigh too much. Is there an end goal? Uh, no. I mean, it's a it's an open-ended game. I, myself, don't have a set goal for, for this series, so it it's just is what it is. I have some projects that I'd like to work on, but those aren't exactly goals. They're just things to do in the meantime. You'll die eventually. Yeah, that's a grim way of thinking about it. You know what I need? I need light sources up here. I need some floodlights or something. Alright, we have sorted that. So, Lewis Project will be tomorrow, but I am... Before I uh, head to sleep, I'm going to run to the bathroom. Be right back. What is the Lewis Project? I actually haven't formally said. So... You can make assumptions if you'd like. Hey, Shield! Thanks for the resub, buddy. How'd you uh, how'd you enjoy the, uh, the Battle Bros? Now that because I know that you've been proposing that for like years, so I was happy to see it win. Oh, well, you'll see it when you see it. <laughs> Make sure the generator is not nice and topped up. Back to the Lewis Project. I will try to work as dil diligently as I can. So it's not painful to uh, to wait for. That's just rude. I think the game, like, has mercy when that kind of stuff happens, because no nothing happened to me. No equipment damaged or anything. There are designs, uh, sheet rope designs that you can implement to prevent the sort of, like, surprise wambushes like that, that I've built in the past. I mostly use... Um, yeah, I mean, I think it would be a good idea for me to eventually get to that, so that you can see. What that would look like is it would be like an elevated donut or something like that, where there's multiple sheet ropes after you leap out the window, so that you can see what you're uh, descending into. There's a bunch of different ways to, to make it work, so that um, it's not a surprise like it is now. Given that there's no more... Uh, no more choppers. You know, there's not a lot of reason to have boarded up windows or anything like that. Unless I'm worried about zombies hoarding. But since I live on the second level, there's not... Even if they, they hoard up, it's not a big deal. Make sure there's no zombies in here. You have zero idea what Battle Brothers is? So... For last month, the miniseries marathon, um, 
So to preface, actually, uh, once a month I do like a marathon series, or mo for most months, where I stream like 12 hours, one game. And the series was playing Battle Brothers, which is a turn-based squad medieval game. Kind of like XCOM, but uh, medieval. Or kind of like Mountain Blade, but turn-based. Kind of a mix of those two ideas. Quite fun. Very challenging. I'm going to risk the F6s here. For my own sanity. Game will slow down if the zombies get too close, usually. Zombies in the somewhere way off, breaking stuff. Oh, a floating clock and boards. There's a uh, a distinct lack of gravity in this game. If you haven't already noticed. I feel like the zombies I hear are getting ever closer. Gotta be careful not to accelerate time with them closing in. Battle Brothers uses time magic too. Whenever you play it, the time accelerates. Yeah, I, I get you. I know what you're talking about. I, I suffer from the same time magic. You know what, Water Spencer, you're coming with me. You scared me, dude! You made me ink myself. Yep, this is totally a reasonable place for, uh, the dispenser. All will be revealed about this project soon. Just keep voting on it. If you have faith in Lewis, if you don't have faith in Lewis, you know, don't vote on it, whatever. Lewis won't care. He's a king. He endeavors on weird things constantly. It's kind of his, like, M.O. at this point. Lewis, how heavy are you? 82 and stable? That means it's potato time. It's not always potato time, but when it is potato time, you better believe there will be potatoes.
Sorry, flag. You're in the way. And Lewis is French, so. Very weird way of destroying an American flag with a sledgehammer. You're Irish. It's always potato time. <laughs> no, not that well. That has a that has a light switch. That one gets to survive. The smashings. Uh, I think I destroyed the light switch. So never mind. Take it out. I love for that clink noise, right? Such, such a gratifying noise of terrain destruction. You too, office. Everything must go. Did I break the light switch again? I don't see it, so I'm assuming yes. The, the likelihood of me actually bothering to illuminate this area is pretty low, so it's fine. I just don't know how the light switches are getting damaged because I'm pretty sure I'm avoiding destroying them. See? It disappeared. I, like, totally didn't hit it. It just went poof. So it doesn't mean. It's just magical disappearing light switches. Got it. I'm not to blame. Splash damage? Yeah, with a slush hammer. Lewis just has bad aim. Is that it? I could dig it. Rah. Oh. I don't want to waste my coffee, guys. Oh, Jesus. This is kind of a few of you. Can y'all come back later? Hey, Bit. Let me give you a shout out before I get busy here. Thank you for the raid. You're welcome. You're playing XCOM. Oh, I was just talking about XCOM. Only in that I was describing Battle Brothers as like XCOM, but medieval. Right, let me get away from these, um, these zombies because Louie here is a bit too tired to be bothered with them at the moment. And it's pretty easy to ditch them, because he's familiar with the neighborhood. Okay, or not. He runs straight into a wall. Hello. Okay, I guess the neighborhood is a little bit busier than I last remembered. And even with all that juking, they're still right here. Oh, 
And they pulled down my sheet rope. Fine. You know what? Fine. They pulled down this sheet rope too? You guys. And you broke the door? Y'all are fiends. Okay, and Louie forgets how the E key works and magically cannot climb because he's a, a duncicle. A duncicle is a dunce popsicle. This is not how you treat your king! With my non-existent damage. Alright, fine, fine, fine. Is it coffee time? Yeah, it's coffee time. I was trying to get up, because there's like six zombies down here. But I ran up to these sheet ropes and Louie was just like, Ropes! Remind me how ropes work again, peasant. Oh, you climb them? Yeah, you climb them, monkey. And let me just remove them before they just de de delete them, because I know they're going to delete them. Hi, zombies. Don't know how climbing works, do you? Yeah, you could bite me. Well, I okay, never mind. I take that back. You want to bite me. Don't. Uh, let's... You know, I just realized I actually don't have, um, a cup of coffee. Anywhere. Um, I don't have, like, an actual cup that I can drink coffee out of. So if I wanted to make a, uh, a cup of coffee, I would have to, like, eat the whole coffee. But seeing how rude these guys are to me, I might just go ahead and do that. Imagine if they can actually climb. Well, then I would have a different base, wouldn't I? I wouldn't be relying on the zombie-proofness of climbing. There's other ways. Climbing's not the only way. The other ways are kind of exploitative, except for one of them that I can think of off the top of my head. And that one requires you to have other skills, but... Alright, uh, let's rest... Where'd these guys come from? They like wrecked the base out of nowhere. Alright, my exertion is not going away because we're just so tired. They're uh, intertwined. So I'll just eat the coffee. And then rest. Sit on the ground. Put the sledgehammer away because it's heavy. So as soon as my lungs are good, uh, I'm going to go mess some zombies up. One thing that I might want carpentry for at some point is to pull up the now busted down card gate door. All right, let's see. Knowing that the, the base is somewhat surrounded, I'm not gonna go over a known sheet rope because it's not likely that they won't be waiting for me. So let's, uh... Oh, thanks, Z-level. Impossible to read and see. Yeah, I totally will know if there's enemies on the other side of this wall, because I'm allowed to see the other side of the wall. Alright, I'm just going to blind rope down. What, I can't rope off of this brick wall? Oh, did I put the... Sh I put the sheet ropes away, didn't I? Stop breaking stuff down there.
Well, I have regular rope. Uh, for me to use the bridge, I would need to construct something to hang the sheet ropes off of. You can't just, like, sheet rope from nothing. There we go. Now I have some ropes. So if you wanted to go from the bridge, you have to put the sheet ropes on a fence or something that you construct, which would just be one more thing. I'll do it from here. Oh, or not. Oh, no, okay, he constructed it. For a second, I thought he just, like, yellowed. Yeah, you can't hang it from the floor. So I could design it so that I can hang it, but I figured just this one random um, corner would be safe. Now the only the only uh, vulnerability that I have right now is there's nothing stopping the zombies from like yoinking this random sheet rope that I have here and um, preventing me from accessing the second floor. So I'm gonna hang some additional ropes. Uh, before I kill the rest of them. I just wanted to clear out them down there. Or, you know, I could also just go to sleep up here. But this is the vulnerability of just a one rope. I, I have a lot of clothing, though, so I can make more shoe rips if I need. A lot of that clothing is clothing I, I don't think I'll ever wear. five more. So that should be six total for two more third story ropes. Get a little drowsy though. Um, yeah, no, let's clear them out. Rather than try to Rather than try to uh, sleep. All right, so here's some backup ropes. I'm gonna stick another backup rope uh, over in the ready prep because that is one that is not very likely to get pulled down, considering it's really far away. Hey, Tangier, good to see you too. And then I'll have three extra ropes. Although I'm losing, uh, I lost the daylight. It's pretty late at night. So I'll just take a whole lot of vitamins and clear out these Ralphian peasants. There's a fair percentage of them that have managed to crawl underneath the cab, though, I have noticed. I've killed at least two or three under the cab. The percentage of zombies that are, like, able to crawl is rather low, but given enough of them, inevitably some will find their way under. Get over here. You trespassing losers. I don't want to have to uh, haul them out of the warehouse manually. I'll just lure them out. Come on. Is there max height for ropes? Uh, no. You'll need one sheet rope per level. There is a max height on the map, though, which is seven or something. But that's a that's a lot of levels, seven or eight. And I think they raised it recently, as well. Come on. 
where now you can maybe go higher. I, for, I forget. I, I vaguely remember seeing it in the patch notes of like the previous Z level max of seven was increased or something. But that might have been for negative levels for basements or underground or whatever. And they really are deaf. Alright, if I'm not mistaken, that was the last one. It's time for Lua to sleep. That's weird. There's a van here. Like, there it is. <laughs> Invisivan. So I'll have to I'll have to hide my sheet ropes because they uh, they really did yoink like almost all of them off. So tomorrow I'm going to continue working on the Louis project. I'm just making that decision for myself, just because it's uh it's pretty close to being done. <laughs> A ropeless situation. I turned that ropeless situation into zombie punishment. No, I don't have a rope here. <laughs> yep. Noted. Thank you for putting me down. This was my house. I had everything I needed, I thought. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is in Louisville. I could mark it down. So it's around... It's the... Let's see if I can't find it quickly. So it was... This house here? We'll double check the map. Yep, definitely the same house. Cool. Little lead on something. I like it. Where are you going? There you go. The zombie got lost. Needed directions. You want me to check the health of the sledgehammer? Sledgehammers don't wear out very quickly, uh, from for any reason. So it's still like three fourths. Nope, that has a light switch. Sorry, I beams. You're just gonna have to learn to be supportive without, you know, physics. Some of those things that I'm Destroying could have been dismantled for experience. Yes, if I wanted the experience, I don't care As evidenced by smashing them anyway Oh, 
Oh, that's pretty good. Now for part the two. Would slow down the speed of my project. Also, uh, I don't care about the experience. Experience is only useful if it allows you to do things you can't already do. There's nothing that a little bit of electronics... I mean, I don't really care about hot wiring cars. I don't need to move stoves or dryers or washers or anything. There's there's no need for the experience at this point. The only experience I could really go for is maybe like... Uh, uh, the only experience that would be useful at this point would be um, carpentry to be able to repair the missing walls or metalwork and... Neither of those uh, are going to be obtained this way. Alright, where be the peasants? Also, uh, as I constantly find myself saying, if it ain't the priority above my head, I ain't care. It's the easiest way to put it. So, if it's not uh, the voted priority that I'm currently working on, I do not care about its uh, its progress. A little bit more terrain modification left to do. Luckily, I'm in a place that uh, I can't get hurt. Just kind of makes it nicer. need storefronts. Oh, you know what I could do before I uh, finish this? Yoink. Oh, come on. Quicker, man. Hello? You know, I fired a shotgun, right? This neighborhood. What gives, man? Oh, hi. I saw you. Get back. Get back here. Come on. Where, where are you going? You don't even... I, I, fresh meat. Right here. Come on. You want some? Dude, you're not even wearing clothing. No shirt, no shoes, no service. Oh. Bye, zombie. Bye, zombie. This is the Louie Project. Are there pathing somewhere where they can break a door down? No, nope, there's no doors. There's no way they can get in. I am completely inaccessible to zombies, despite being on zero Z level. There's a walls here, walls here, fortified metal grates that are indestructible. These are all walls and metal grates that are indestructible. There's no, not a single way a zombie can touch me. Unless they learn to use guns or spears. And I can shoot them as much as I want all day long. With no personal risk to myself ever. The Louis Project. There's very, very, very few places in the game that um, that can accommodate such a project. They typically are gun stores or pawn shops. Most pawn shops actually have back doors. 
gun stores, some of them don't. And if you take your time and burrow in through the roof, uh, you can set up a gun store to be impervious to zombies, but be on the Z level on zero. Uh, it's also possible to kill them with a uh, um, spears too. You can poke through the uh, bees if you want. And what I did was I removed the um, the walls around the building and anything that could stop zombies from getting uh, pathed to me so that they could find their way to get to me more easily. And then I busted this down here so that I can redirect them noise-wise so I can encourage them to come to the front gate because that last shot should have uh, brought them over. I don't actually... I don't know what was going on over there. They were, like, falling from the ceiling. Good way to level up your reloading and aiming. And the use of this project is, um... I can use it to... pull zombies away from my home. So... In the future, if the home ever gets uh, swarmed, I'm within the hearing radius of zombies to home, so I can just uh, and start shooting over here, and then any that are home will come this way, and that keeps me safe over the, over yonder. Right, I think I also uh, should grab here. Let me drop the sledge. I should also grab a long-range rifle for the ones that are uh, close, but not close enough. So let's do a three-weight. With a scope and every... Ooh, beta blockers. Nice. So what rifle should I use? I'll use the M14. Oops. A reverse kill box. Yep, eh, it's still a kill box. Just, I'm in the box. Yeah, you don't you don't want to hug my gate? That's fine. You can hang back. Whatever floats your boat. Well, I'm still gonna find a way. Thank you for tuning in to Project Zomboid, which originally streamed live on Twitch February 2nd. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you'd like to join my gaming community, Rodamont.com also has a link to Discord, as does the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching. A special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel and made it all the way to the credits. I'll catch you next episode or upcoming stream. Farewell, my fellow zombie slayers, 